You likely clicked on this video thanks to the dope thumbnail, but in case you're here for learning and science, then I could provide that at a very basic level. So, ecological blindness is a odd term. You may even think of something like this. So, eco-blindness, ecological blindness, green blindness, or a form of selective blindness is where people are usually unaware or refuse to see the state of nature in an area, usually the place they live. Here's an example. A village of people live next to a lake surrounded by trees. One day, the villagers decide to cut down a large chunk of the trees to make way for some new development, like a road. The next time it rains heavily, the lake swells and floods parts of the town destroying many of the people's homes. What these villagers were unable to see beforehand was that the trees were playing a vital role in soaking up much of the rainwater. A really crappy situation to be in, but a very obvious cause and effect can be seen by most people. But it's not always so easy for people to see. Take an island, a vibrant forested place with abundant wildlife. Stag beetles fight for dominance on the branches of trees. A wild boar upturns the soil, allowing birds to feed on the exposed invertebrates. And the carcasses of the bison killed by wolves provide a lifeline for a struggling eagle to scavenge. Deer, bear, lynx, and a plethora of other organisms living out their daily lives, relying on each other to maintain balance. The land is wild, and the ecosystems are healthy. Every species is playing their part. But as time progressed, and human influence grew, the forests were cut down and many of these animals were hunted to extinction. The deer that once grazed sparingly and moved from place to place to avoid predators now unknowingly work to shrink the remaining forests further. Bears no longer wait upstream for the salmon to spawn, their rotten bodies gathering on the shores of the river. And the once animated land that had supported so much life became much quieter. And no, I'm not stating that humans are outright bad from this. I'm heavily implying it though. If you're raised in this environment today, you won't have any memory of it being lush and filled with so much life. So to you, this unnatural state of things is normal. If things continue on this little island the way they have, unbeknownst to its inhabitants, the island will be slowly advancing towards full ecological collapse. That island was Britain. I mean, it's more of a group of islands of anything and maybe also Ireland, it would apply to. But anyway, is ecological blindness our fault? No one can really blame us for trying to live our lives as conveniently as possible. Many of us have things on our plates. Between work, socializing, and everything else that makes up human life, it can be easy to dismiss things like this as unimportant or irrelevant to oneself. But every single one of us, from the lowliest of politicians, to the greatest of healthcare workers, are all parts of our planet's ecosystems. We rely on the insects to pollinate our crops. Yeah, you heard that one a lot, I know, but it's true. Those insects rely on other plants too, like trees and shrubs. We also rely on these to keep our air clean and soil firm. And those same plants rely on predators to prevent their saplings being eaten by grazers. The dung from those grazers provide food for the invertebrates, which are in turn eaten by birds that spread the nutrients over vast distances. In the oceans, this nutrient feeds plankton. The plankton are then consumed by fish, and then that fish is consumed by another fish, and sometimes that fish is consumed by another fish. But sometimes some of these fish are captured and then consumed by humans. This massive, tangled web of life is crazy, but it is also vital for us to understand even just a little so that we can appreciate it appropriately. So, I asked, is ecological blindness our fault? Well, that entirely depends. When your village calls to cut down those trees, will you blindly go ahead with it? Or are you going to make an informed decision, thinking more than the immediate benefits to man or yourself, and what can be done to maintain balance as a whole? If you pick the latter, then no, it is not your fault. If you pick the former... Well, not everyone can be a winner. But, anyway, this is the end of the video. Ciao! No, don't actually speak French.